This is the craziest drink in Mexico. Mexicans take day drinking to a whole nother level. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. This is absolutely huge. Look at it compared to me. In today's video, we are going to be trying Mexico's craziest drink. We are at Cantarito Saduero in the town of Tequila, Jalisco, the birthplace of tequila. This place has been going viral on YouTube and we're here to figure out why. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. It's going to get crazy today. Let's get this party started. This video is probably going to start out a little slow, but by the end of the video, this is going to get wild. So all the YouTube videos that we watched, did not show how huge this place is. I just spoke with the manager and he told me in a few hours this is gonna get wild. After talking to the locals, this is definitely a must if you come anywhere near tequila. So you can select what size you want. These are for an individual person to consume. These are definitely for a party of four, eight, and 16. Amazing! You're feeling super, super adventurous. You can try the big one. This one comes in at 21 liters, so around six gallons. This one is for the party animals. We're torn because we don't know which one to get. We're gonna try to survive this thing. So the big one comes with three bottles of tequila, middle, two, and this one, even this one's pretty big, comes with one full bottle of tequila. Olga has Olé. yet to have a sip of tequila and look at her. <laughs> I decided to warm up a little bit. This thing already has like four or five shots of tequila. We're gonna get this one, and then we'll show you the good stuff. Warming up the engines right now. Taste test. Even though there's five shots of tequila in here, you can't even feel it at all. That is so dangerous. <laughs> so I don't know if Daniel's gonna survive today. So I am volunteering to be the sober one and make sure he survives. But I will take a little sip just to see what the fuss is all about. This is really good. It's like lemony lime. You can't taste the tequila. Pray for Daniel. It's noon and people are definitely starting to arrive. It looks like there's a good amount of families today, so it's nice to see that the whole family partakes in this craziness. Let us show you the behind the scenes of this awesome place. So what makes the difference here is that they are super dedicated in providing the freshest ingredients for these canteritos. I mean, right here, they're squeezing fresh orange juice that's gonna go right to the drink. Can get fresher than that, right? To make a canterito, all you need is a few simple ingredients. Some lime, salt, fresh orange and grapefruit juice, squirt soda, and of course, the tequila of your choosing. They have a huge amount of tequila here, and look at all the selection. So when you come pick out your drink, you also get to pick out what type of tequila you want in it. Obviously, you have Jose Cuervo, but there are a little bit lesser known tequila brands here that are premium quality that you can choose from. And there are so many to choose from here. So comment down below what your favorite brand of tequila is. Making up the drink is a true spectacle. We'll show you this performance in just a bit. Mexicans take day drinking to a whole nother level. As soon as we heard the band starting to play, we knew it was time to go get our drink. Let's go get the big poppy of drinks. So we're about to go get our drink. I don't know if I should be excited or nervous because it, it's big. We're deciding which one to get. So our rationale was the seven liter was too small, 21 was way too big, so we're settling for the 14 liter, which is obviously still too big. Tamaño extra grande. We got the 14 liter one. Yolo. So you get your ticket and then you get your drink. So let's go. We know what you're thinking. How are they gonna possibly drink 14 liters together? Well, you're right. We had to recruit some friends. Let us introduce you to this guy. He not only saved us, he made sure we had a great time. All right, back to the video. Hoy se van a conocer mejor. Para que no les dé ni gripa. Miren nomás, llegó puro veneno. Una para que sepa y la otra para que rasque. Ahora sí, ¿listos? Vamos a poner sal. Sal de la que no hincha. Jugo de limón. Yes. 
se viene lo mejor. Sin vidrio. Para que no raste. ¿Quién es más borracho? O borracho. Iván? A ver, mi compa Iván. A ver si le gustan los cuernos. Que aquí no duelen. Dele, mijo. Cheers. Como agüita, ¿verdad? Ahora sí, se viene lo mejor. Y esta va toda para que se sienta. Y un saludo desde Cantarito Silvero para todos los borrachos. Que se vengan, que aquí está lo bueno. Sin su toque nada es igual. Saluditos. ¿Sí pasa la prueba? So we're here with our new friends. They're gonna help us finish this 14 liter drink. <laughs> well, I can do that. <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. This is absolutely huge! Look at it compared to me. This is the craziest drink in Mexico. Let's have fun with our friends that we made and enjoy our day. <laughs> okay! <laughs> oh, we're making some near friend. 14 liter turned out to be way too much. Our new friend Andrea decided that we needed some help finishing this drink, so we decided to distribute it to the nearby tables. Gracias por ayudarnos con el cantarito. Andrea is helping us pass it around. A few moments later. Salud. Salud. The whole family partakes in this. Like a magical potion, the 14-liter Cantarito turned this place into a true Mexican fiesta. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. Mexicans take day drinking to a whole nother level. Ivan started to show us why he's called the Mexican lover. The place was so lively, I had to get up and dance. Little did I know that these ladies were going to adopt me as their gringa. With a few tacos and a lot of liquid courage, we finally convinced Daniel to get up and dance. That's what 14 liters will do to you. We survived the craziest Mexican drink. It's empty. In the end, we figured out why this place is so famous. It's because it brings people together. I learned that the Mexican culture is extremely welcoming and warm. It was beautiful to see families coming together and having fun. And this is why we love to travel and why we love to say travel awakens the soul. Hope you enjoyed this video and we hope to see you next week. We'll be taking you to Mexico's only clothes optional beach. See you then.